Alright, this year I decided to do a budget home theater setup since I've gotten all this stuff last year, towards the end of the year. And I uh, just wanted to show off what I got. It's pretty good for the price I spent, considering what I went through to get everything. But uh, take it off the tripod and show everything individually. Alright, um, got some light in here so it's a little better to see. Um, the TV, I'm going to start off with the first. It's a Panasonic Viera Plasma. It's a 1080p 600 field or 600 hertz subfield drive, as all of them are. Um, it's a little older. It was manufactured in 2010. I'm not exactly sure the model number. I think it's TC P50S2. I think that sounds right. Um, I got it for $330 at pawn shop, which ain't bad considering it's 1080p. I sold my other screen for 100 and 130, so I really didn't spend too much money on the TV. That's why it's a budget system. Um, the surround sound system is also a budget system bought off of a guy from Craigslist for $175. It's an Onkyo 6.1 thousand watt, each channel 130 watts. Here's the receiver number. Got the right channel, the left channel. Even came with the stands for free, plus a shitload of wire, like uh, the subwoofer wire, which is back there. It's a monster cable. It's like 50 foot. Uh, center channel. Here's one of the surround channels. It's not where I want it. It should be on the wall with the mount, but I just haven't got one yet. Uh, my other speaker back here. Sorry, drum set's kind of in the way. Uh, I'll probably do a drum set tour after I get some more cymbals and whatnot. Um, then the 6.1 back here, 6 channel. I'm looking to upgrade to a 7.2 channel, uh, a Nokia, or not a Nokia, an Onkyo uh, NR626, I believe it is. But uh, it does the job. It's it's good for in here. I mean, this is a small room. It's not big by any means. Um, down here, got my 360 Slim. And. Uh, just a cheap Magnavox Blu-ray player, but it has internet connectivity, so it's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Front channels have two four and a half inch woofers and a tweeter. They are 130 watts a channel. That's what they're rated at. Center channel has two four inch woofers, I believe. I think that sounds right. Either four or three and a half. Um, Band of Birds, that's what I'm watching right now. Sorry about that, the phone was ringing. Um, anyways, like I said, if you haven't seen Band of Brothers, you should definitely check it out on YouTube or, uh, pick it up if you have the money for it. It's, uh, like an 11-part series. I got it for, uh, $25. It's based in, uh, World War II. Uh, it's a damn good show if you like, uh, war stuff. Um... Let's see the subs over here. It's a pretty big sub. I mean, it's, it's 10, 10 inch sub down firing, but it's front port. It's like 180 watts or something. Uh, the wires aren't the cleanest. I mean, I could clean them up a little bit better, but uh, it's all right for the small of a room. Uh, those speakers, those also have four inch woofers and uh, an inch tweeter in them. I probably looked to upgrade those. To some better speakers. Uh, those same speakers, the other ones. Um, I would show some, uh, like some movie game or some movie play, but uh, you know how YouTube is with the copyright bullshit. You can't play anything, otherwise you'll get copyright claims, and I can't deal with that. So um, yeah, it's pretty much it. Altogether, it cost about um, I don't know, about four or five hundred dollars after everything. I mean, so it's not too expensive. I mean, $500, that's pretty much like a, a TV alone with uh, not everything else. Um, I'll probably be doing a Blu-ray collection, but all I got, I haven't been collecting very long, but I'll probably do one of those in a couple days. So uh, I'll leave a, a link to that after I get it up, and uh, thanks for watching.